Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are we all? As you can see, I'm ready. Um, I am filming today another Instagram themed video because I know you guys really liked the last ones. A lot of people have messaged me just like about Instagram kind of questions. I do TikToks quite similar, but I thought, why not start like a wee section on my channel about it? Because I feel like quite a lot of people are interested, especially because I take my pictures myself. Um, and just like angles I do sometimes, like people are like, mine's never going to turn out that way. Things like that. So I just thought, let's film it. Why not? I asked on my Instagram story last night for questions. So some questions related to some parts and like, like I kind of have grouped them into different sections. So there's going to be different things. Like, there's going to be different episodes, would you say that? There's going to be different um, topics. And I'm going to make it like a wee playlist, I think, on in on YouTube. So yeah, I'm going to focus today on just how I take my photos, like how I do it with a tripod. But as you can tell, I'm all ready. I've never worn my hair like this before. Fun fact, guys, I hope you noticed, but I've got my hair done. Um, So I actually had like the first appointment, which... I just bloody love my hairdressers. So I go to the green room in Falkirk. Um, if you don't go and you're looking for a hairdresser, they are the ones. Honestly, they are so good. Um, they are so good at what they do. Um, so I just got my hair dyed. I'm getting my extensions put in, but I've not had them put in yet. Um, so I'm currently extension free, which means that I can do this scrape back look because the extensions aren't in the way. Do you know what I mean? Like I, I'm quite. I was quite looking forward to like. I was considering not getting extensions for a wee bit because I was like, oh, like I can do like all these hairstyles that I wanted to do, which I can't really do with hair extensions. But then I thought, I don't know when I'll be able to get another appointment. So I was like, you know what, I'll just get the extensions. So yeah, but yeah, I am all ready. It's currently like half 11 or something. I was going to start a bit earlier, but I've been waiting around for a power. So I was hoping that was going to come today because I was going to shoot it today, but it's not arrived yet. So I'm just going to have to like shoot it another day annoying but we move to start off with this actual mess so sorry the sun's like kind of changing the lighting but these are the outfits i'm going to shoot today i've also not made my bed if you can't tell my room is a mess ignore it um so yeah this is all the outfits i'm going to shoot as you can see guys very very colorful i've become quite a colorful queen right now yeah i've been really into my colors like obviously not wow like most people but for me I do like colours but I prefer more pastel colours. So like this jumper, I don't know if you can see it properly right now. All pastel kind of colours. Pastel, pastel -y. I do quite like this hot pink colour but yeah, pastels. I've also got all these colourful heels as well. Loving the coloured heels right now. I literally only wear coloured heels, heels right now basically. But yeah, I have all my outfits laid out so I'm going to pack those into my bag. Um. And then I'm just going to go over again my essentials that I take when I'm shooting. So I always bring the same essentials with me every single time I shoot. So it means that I can basically look like I'm shooting loads of content when I'm not. So basically the things that you need to bring when you're shooting content, right? If you're like me and you're going to shoot it alone, which this video is kind of about, so... Is a tripod. I literally get mine from Amazon. I'll link it down below. And a Bluetooth clicker. Um, this is what I take literally. I would say take about 90% of my photos on my Instagram by myself. Obviously, like the odd picture other like another person will take if I have like a content day with somebody or that kind of thing. But 90% of the time it is just me taking my own pictures. I always bring um bags, so like different mini bags and um, just for whatever props you want and um, props if you want a prop obviously and um, bags are not like my kind of prop i'm gonna bring some props today actually though i bring sunglasses so i've got four pairs of sunglasses packed with me today Um, i bring hair stuff oh i'm keeping my hair in this bun today but i'll bring a hairbrush just in case yeah hair stuff i normally bring bobbles and that and i literally change my hair Every single time that I'm shooting, basically, like, I'll keep, like, maybe three looks, same hairstyle, and three looks, different hairstyle, blah, blah, blah. And then I always bring my lipstick, that like, my lip combo that I'm wearing that day. Today I'm wearing, um, I'm pretty sure it's Barry M Toast Lip Liner, and then I'm actually wearing Technique Argan Oil Lip Conditioner. Um, so yeah, those are my essentials that I take with me. I bring different pairs of shoes, outfits, yeah. Let's go. So, we've arrived at the first location that I think I want to shoot at. I'm going to try something really different today. Something that I've never done before, like, angle-wise. Um, but, 
we will see it might not work it might flunk completely but i've just seen like a few people do it on instagram i don't know like how they actually do it but i'm gonna try it this way right i saw this really nice location at this like supermarket but it was like the back of the supermarket where like i think the colleagues must park because i went to go drive into it and it said like no entry but it had like cars parked in it so i'm guessing it's like where like the colleagues park but now i'm like i can't really park in there but it's just flipping annoying because i really like the location so the first look like angle of the tripod that i'm going to be going with is very high up looking down onto you first of all what i did was i tried putting it on the top of my car because i thought that'll mean that i can stand up and it'll still be looking down onto me from a high angle the wind blew and my phone came flying off and it didn't have a case on and i kind of shut my pants so yeah not doing that again so i decided right i'll just do like a sitting kind of angled one because then i can just have it on the highest tripod look so what people forget is it's not just about the height of like the height of the tripod it's actually also about the tilt of the phone so i for this look put oh, what this woman actually just almost swerved into my car and there's like i'm at the top of a car park i'm the only person here why the fuck is she actually coming for me anyway right so what people sometimes forget is so for this look i put my tripod on the highest mode that it possibly can be she's coming out of her car but i don't actually care she's scaring me I put my tripod on the highest level it possibly can be, but then I tilt the, the um, top of the tripod down. So, if I can show you, so so as you can see, he as you can see here, this is the camera set up, um, and as you can see, this is on the full tripod mode. Like this is as high as it goes. So for reference, it's kind of like I don't know. I'd say it's like hip height. Um, so yeah, this is on full mode, but then this is what I mean by the tilt of the phone. So this would be facing, it's dark and I don't know why it's dark. Anyway, this would be facing um, front on onto the camera, but that's obviously not what we want. So I tilt this down the ways, so then it gives you the more on top and I'd literally be sitting like under here, if you get me. So that's what I do for that look. Oh, it's sunny, let's, let's take some photos, two seconds. Right, I've had an outfit change. Um, a wee top tip for everyone as well. A lot of people ask me, like, when I don't have a car at uni, what do I do for getting changed wise? Um, double up outfits. So I've literally got two outfits on right now. So, like, this is like a top and then a skirt, and then I've got like my jeans over the top. Obviously, I'll fix it when I stand up, and then the jumper over the top. So, like, say for example, if I had a tracksuit that I was shooting, I'd always put that on top of like another outfit. It just means like you save having to get changed twice, do you get me? So yeah, that's my wee top tip for that. So I've got two outfits on now and I'm gonna go to the next location to shoot because I think I'm done shooting at the top of here. So now for showing you guys how I do the low angles. So I'm at my next photo location. I have got an outfit on by the way. Um, and basically I'm gonna show you how I do my low angles because I get a lot of questions on it. And it's my favorite angle ever. I've got the camera set up. So basically, I put my camera at the lowest one possible, and then again, the tilt. So that would be front on, but I tilt it like up the ways like that. So that makes you look really long, if you get me. So that's the best way for getting the low angles to look good. This editing just now, but I thought I'd add in as well. Um, I always kind of like have like a marker in my mind of where my feet should go. So like in the clip, you can see like lines on the floor. So I kind of look at that to know where I should stand um and as well always refer back to your pictures like always after you've taken quite a few look back and make sure that you actually like where you're standing and everything because you don't want to be done and then be like oh i'm like halfway out the photo or whatever do you know what I mean? That is me back from shooting content now. Um, it's currently half four and I've just put all my stuff away, which is good for me. Normally I'll try and like, I'll just leave it and then it just gets a mess and then, yeah. Um, but I actually put everything away today because I was like, no, this is going to stress me out if I don't put all my clothes away. Because everything just is a mess after shooting content. Like your car is a mess, your room's a mess, everything's just a mess. So I'm just going to answer some of the questions you guys had. People will probably ask as well what camera I have. I have the iPhone XR. Um, truthfully, I do think I would like a better camera. Just because this one, like, 
it's good, it is good, but just in certain lightings, it's more like the lighting that's not as amazing on it. Um, it's hard to get the exact lighting that I want, but I just kind of edit that. But it's, there's only so much you can edit it. If it's bad lighting, it's bad lighting. Um, so yeah, I would kind of want a better phone, but I'm not paying for that right now. And I do want that wide lens camera, which you don't have on my phone, but you want what you can't get. Eh? So from the questions, like a lot of people did ask like things like what height do you place a tripod at? How you set it up to get the certain angles? What angle do you take your pics at? Like a lot of them were about the angle. So that's why I thought I'd do like a full kind of video on it. I get quite a lot of questions like um, how to shoot cool poses. Like how do you not feel awkward when posing? Um, so I do. Like... <laughs> That's kind of why I take the pictures myself, in the sense of if I have an image in my head, not all images work, sometimes I'll try something that'll look absolutely awful, but it's better to try it, whereas if I was trying to explain to somebody else what my image was, I would be scared like straight off the back when they'd just be like, what, and then it would knock my confidence for even trying it. So that's why I kind of do like doing it myself for the sense of I've not really got a fear of trying any poses because who's going to know all the weird poses I try? And there's a lot of poses that I try that don't work. That helps me personally, like I don't have any, even though like I know like my friends and that and like family and that wouldn't judge me, it's more just you trying to get the idea, like so if you've got an idea in your head, it's hard enough to get it as it is. Never mind explaining to somebody else for them to have to try and understand what your idea is to then present to you your idea because at the end of the day, they're the one taking the photo. If their angles and everything is completely off, you're never going to get that idea that's in your head, you get me? So at least it's like just within me. With the in public thing about taking content, um, I do feel awkward in public as well. Like if somebody walks past me, I straight away run and pretend I'm on my phone. Like, I straight away run, grab my phone and just pretend I'm texting somebody. Like, I will not shoot content. Like, I, I won't be able to pose and everything when I know people are walking past. That's why I try and go places that people not, like, aren't necessarily at. I'm definitely more confident at it when I'm with other people because at the end of the day, it's not just me then. But when I'm by myself, I literally hate people walking past me. I've also had a few like experiences of guys just being weird or like not being allowed to shoot in certain places which I wasn't aware of um, and it's kind of knocked my confidence a wee bit with shooting in public places like even like today um, I saw this really cool place but I think it was like where colleagues park um, and I was just like oh, I really want to shoot there but I just I had no confidence to shoot there because I was like first of all I don't even know if I'm allowed to shoot there and I don't want somebody coming out and telling me you need to leave and as well they would walk out and just see me taking photos and I just it would just make me feel awkward and make me shrivel up for the rest of the day so yeah it, like everyone will get that like they are uncomfortable with taking photos people have asked me like best places uh, to take photos like in Glasgow Central Scotland and like how do I find cool photo places honestly guys it's hard <laughs> I think as well because I like to have like a specific look for my Instagram photos, it is hard to find that. I like there's not like the only place like that I know as like an actual is an actual place and is cool for taking photos is City Glasgow College. Um I shot there at the beginning of the year I want to say. Other than that, I literally drive around and just find like backs of buildings and walls and things like that. Like it's not necessarily a place, it's more just random buildings. Somebody asked me, do you pick the photos you post or do you ask people what ones are best? So I used to always ask other people which one they liked the most, but now I don't. And it's literally just because I would ask people and they would say ones that like, weren't necessarily my favourite and then it just made me overthink it more. You know if you ask somebody like between two pictures and they say one and you're like oh that you know that it's the other one you want to post that would happen but none of my friends would say the one that I subconsciously have in my head and then I'd be like well that's obviously not that nice and then I just wouldn't like the photos anymore so I just kind of choose myself. So like whatever picture I choose like I'll put all like say I have like seven options I'll put all I'll post all seven but it's just like which ones I put first that I struggle with and as well the longer people are on your post for 
the higher your engagement rate will most likely be like the algorithm that kind of works that way I'm pretty sure and um, so if you have seven photos in a swipe some people are going to swipe and look at all of them and it keeps them on the photo longer than just looking at the one picture Do you get me so if you don't do swipes I would recommend somebody asked me how many uh, outfits do you shoot a week I don't actually know how many I shoot a week um I would probably say around maybe around like 10 but yeah I'm gonna do a um, video as well on how I edit my photos slash like edit my feed and like plan my feed and all the questions around that and also what was the other thing and also how I started Instagram and like grew more on Instagram and all that kind of stuff those are the two other Instagram video themed video themed videos I have planned um so i'll get those filmed for you very soon but if you want to see anything else just let me know and i really hope you guys enjoyed this the other ones went down a treat and i do get quite a lot of questions about it so i really hope this was helpful for you guys and that you enjoyed it and yeah i'll see you guys very soon bye